Hi you guys, welcome to Rapturous House Tarot. My name is Tanya. If you come across this video, it is meant for you. This message is for the collective. We're gonna pull a few oracle messages, then we're gonna clarify. We're gonna clarify with um, a tarot deck that actually has the meanings on it. So you can see it. I want you to see it. Um, so if you come across this, I wanted to give you a little bit of clarity, a little bit of knowledge. Okay, you guys? All right, so let's pull a few oracle messages for the collective in the Queen of the Moon oracle deck. All right. So this message is for whoever comes across this video at any point in time. Show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to see. We call on the angels. We call on the Holy Spirit. We call on the white light and the goddesses that give us strength. Show us what we need to see. Is there anything else that we need to see? The bottom of the deck we have sovereignty we have a surrender abundance and extremes so it tells us surrendering doesn't mean giving up let go of what you no longer need Stop being so stubborn about holding on to aspects and behaviors that don't align with who you are now. Stop struggling. Abundance is coming. Take advantage of this time of abundance. It is all around you. Possibility and opportunity are everywhere. You are open and responsive to the abundance around you. There is enough for everyone. Be careful with the extremes. Learn how to handle crisis with calm and resilience. Seeking balance is superior to seeking extremes. There are better ways to handle conflict than rage or outrage. There may be someone who seeks to disrupt your business or life in some way. This too shall pass. You have sovereignty. You have sovereignty over your own life. Act with grace and confidence. You have the ability to unite desperate people and views should you choose to do so. The buck stops with you. You are powerful. Act like it. You are abundant. Recognize it. It's time to surrender. Surrender your will. Practice discipline. So if you've come across this message, it is telling you that you are abundant. You are strong. You have the ability to do anything that you want to do. You're gonna to have to surrender your will. You're going to have to let go of some of the behavioral aspects of your life. Learn some discipline. So, you, that, so therefore you can bring balance back into your life. Let's see what today's message is for you. This message is for the person that has come across this video. The sovereign person that has come across this video. The very abundant person that has come across this video. Show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to see. So first out, we have Eight of Wands. 
we have Eight of Wands in the reverse. Eight of Wands is fast action, travel. And the reverse is untrustworthy, theft, oppression, dispute, jealousy, delays, frustrations. Let's see what's going on. What frustrations do you have? It actually came out the Hierophant in reverse. Foolish exercise, wavering, contempt, vulnerable, unorthodox. What, what foolishness is going on present moment? Who do you not trust? We have death. Death is Scorpio energy. There's a transformation happening. A cycle is ending. The Hierophant is a Taurus energy. Eight of Wands is Sagittarius. Present moment, there is jealousy surrounding you. There's a necessary change happening. You're vulnerable. There could be a Scorpio in your life. That's bringing some type of foolishness. We have five of cups in the reverse. Acceptance, hope, forgiveness, gratitude, charity, kindness, new alliance, recovery. So I get this feeling with the eight of wands in reverse. Someone could have come in that you thought that you could trust, but you were spiritually guided away from them. This cycle has ended. Your present moment, you're presently going through recovery. You have a Knight of Cups. A Knight of Cups is someone coming in offering you a cup of love. They're coming in emotional. feel like they're offering you hope. They're, they're coming in offering you a glimpse of hope. Because here, it's, it, it feels like all bets were off. You were like done. Tired dealing with people's foolishness. But I feel like this cycle has ended. It was a necessary change you had to go through. Your present moment in recovery but there, there is someone coming in to offer you a cup of love. Let's see what this Knight of Cups. Let's see who's this Knight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. The craziest thing is that this Knight of Cups upright is moody. And this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is moody. So I get the feeling that you have someone around you that is jealous because eight of wands is jealousy. Queen of pentacles is a jealous queen, whether it be male or female. The knight of cups is you. You're sensitive, romantic. You could be a, you could be a, a, a tad bit moody, yes. You both are moody, but this person is jealous. And that's not good. It's calling you to forgive this person though. This cycle is going to end with you and this person. 
So you're going to be ending whatever relationship this is, whether it be a physical, emotional, however it comes, work-related relationship. You're going to be ending this relationship because you two can't see eye to eye. You don't trust this person. This person could have stolen from you. It's a lot of nagging, but there's this cycle is ending. There's a sense of acceptance, forgiveness. You can forgive someone, but you can't forget. Let's see what else they have for the collective. What else do we have? We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. It's a broken sequence. Chaos, failure, returning again to the same situation. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's calling you to end whatever this is. The cycle is ending, but it's saying that somebody's coming back. Don't go back. Once once either either one of you leave each other, don't go back because that, that's, that's going to be a never-ending cycle. You need to let it go. Let it go. Let's pull a few love messages for the collective. We're going to use the Lover's Oracle. We're going to use the Lover's Oracle deck to pull a, a few love messages for you guys. Remember, if this message resonates with you, please leave me a comment. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please let your friends and family know as well. If you have any questions, go ahead and email, email me at rapturoushouse at gmail.com. This message is for the collective. Let's see what we have. So we have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your true heart truly desires. Let's see what else we have. What else do we have for the collective? Show us what we need to see. So we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. I hope you all enjoyed this message. If this resonates, please leave me a comment. If you have any specific questions, go ahead and email me. And Go ahead and look at some of the other videos that's up. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys.